What's going on? This is Michael with Love and Freedom. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and talk to you guys. This has been a minute. I had a lot of people uh, reaching out to me, asking me how you know things were going in the Dominican Republic, and uh, uh, asking the question that you know we decide if we decide to uh, live abroad over here in the Dominican Republic or. What's our take on being in the Dominican Republic? All kind of questions, and uh, I just want to jump on here and said, uh, first of all, our stay here in the Dominican Republic has been great. Um, it's been very, um, I want to say, it's been very therapeutic um, as well. And um, as they said before, basically, you can never travel uh, a place once twice or a short period of time and get the whole grab the whole concept about that place or be able to talk about that place the pros and cons uh, it's just not enough time and even though we've been here almost a month I still find it not enough time to talk about the Dominican Republic I don't find it enough time to be able to feel like I'm an expert on the place or the area. Uh, we only travel to a few uh, areas here uh, in the Dominican Republic and the places that we have traveled to, um, the experience have been different each time. So I cannot face uh, every little uh, area that we visit on the whole Dominican Republic. And uh, But I can say that the pros outweigh the cons and I'll give you an example <clears throat> why I said that uh, when you first come over you know you are training your mind on your exercising your uh, your your whole concept of life differently than you have been living you know once you've been living in a certain country a certain area Yes, uh, a shock to you, to your it's a sensation of your your eyesight and your mind. You know, you see things different. You see how people live different. You see how people do things differently, and then you start saying, "Wow, that's how they do that. Why they do that?" You know, something like that. Not in a negative way. Not. I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's different. And if you get into that mindset, that mind pattern, and think about everything, it's not the same wherever you go. You'll do just great. You'll do just great, and uh, I can't ex I can't express this enough uh, how important you know safety is paramount. Safety is paramount everywhere you go, no matter where you're in the United States or where you living abroad or where you're traveling. It's always about safety first. Uh, a lot of people look at how first they look at if we're traveling, how much fun, or uh, I'm excited to see this or do this. Uh, and they fail to understand that sometimes um, you have to set that standard of safety before you think about the beauty of a place or the fun of that place. So you have to set that standard of safety first. And that's what we try to live by. And that's what we try to do. Um, you know, at least that's what I do to keep myself and my family safe. It's always about safety first with me. You know, but... Um, the culture is totally different, as you guys would expect, uh, than living in Mexico. You know, uh, it's funny, it's a little story, you know, like, when I first, you know, when I first got here with my wife, she was like, we hit the market, you know, we got settled into our condo, we hit the market, we looking for some of the things that she liked, you know, in Mexico, and some of the things that I like, which, you know, Basically, after 27 years, what she like, I like pretty much in a in a in a way, you know, that we prepared. But uh, another thing, one number one thing we were looking for when we arrived is uh, we were looking for something hot. We like spicy food. We like our food real spicy, real hot. So we ventured out. We started looking in different market, different places. We everywhere we went, we asked, "What's the you know? We want something cante, something real hot." some chili you know no one had it no one had even green jalapenos no one even had green chili you know and the hottest thing they had was something close to 
Louisiana hot sauce or Tabasco sauce or something like that. And that's not hot to us. So we, we branched it out. We wanted to look for some uh, green uh, jalapenos or the little small old chili that you make salsa with and try to make our own spice. No luck. No luck still to this day. Almost a month in, you can't find jalapenos or real hot spicy chili over here nowhere. So if you're the type of person that we are, we like everything spicy, we like everything hot, then your best out would be maybe, <laughs> I don't know, uh, try to get a lot of cayenne pepper or something. They do say a cayenne pepper and smash it up to try to get it to release that. You know, because you know, in cayenne pepper, if you bite the little seeds, you'll get a little spice. That's what I was all the option was to try to maybe do it that way. But we did, we were able to find out some little, uh, what it was called, uh, in, infernal hot sauce, which is really still not hot to us. So, uh, if you're really into real hot, 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 spicy things, that's going to be pretty hard to find over here in the Dominican Republic. And every time that people see us, we ask for cayenne pepper at least, and we put we dash all that cayenne pepper on our food, or we take the hot sauce and load it up, and, and it goes, ooh, really? Yeah, I don't know how you do Oh, my God, that's so hot. It's not hot. Not hot to us. You know, I've been eating that so you know, long. It's not hot. It's not hot at all. So... That was just a little story, you know, how we went around and around the whole uh, area trying to find something hot, trying to find some chili. Couldn't find nothing hot. And what's hot to us is, you know, is it's flaming hot, you know. Uh, what's hot to them is mild hot sauce, you know, maybe some Louisiana sauce or something like that, which just vinegar. That's not hot. So you definitely want to. If you got to acquire for something hot, you're not going to get it over here. You're not going to find anything hot here. Uh, you know, that's just, like I said, that's just some little uh, pointer for those who like spicy hot food. Uh, you know, they have some very nice restaurants uh, in the areas that we've been to. Uh, we ventured out in quite a few areas since we've been here and tried a few different places to eat, restaurants or whatever. Uh, found a little couple of places um, to pick up uh, you know maybe some some uh, beach shoes you know to go get in the water and walk in the beach or water or whatever because I cannot step in the ocean barefooted not I can't you know I had a bad experience about stepping on a jellyfish or or, or, or ocean um, with those fish that sting I forgot the name of them I've had a bad experience in that and I don't want to experience that pain ever again and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. So uh, we did, we were able to find a couple stores like that, uh, you know, and pick up a few things. Uh, for the most part, everything's been very quiet, uh, you know, besides, you know, they like, they like Mexico, we used to it. Uh, people enjoy their music loud and all time of night uh, and just enjoy their family and friends, which I have no problem with that. I mean, as long as it don't get overboard or it's not a place where all the time they partying, uh, I can't do that. So I try to find me a place where I know uh, it's a nice area where most people have to get up and go to work or, you know, it's a very family-oriented place where professional people live or just not into all that partying all the time. Um, we also found that... Um, Want to talk to you guys about see i had a brain for it that quick you know when i was talking about uh, partying and stuff uh, oh man i had a brain for it you guys charge it to my head now my heart but uh i really want to talk to you about you know finding an area where you know it's not a lot of uh partying or a lot of loud noise especially if you have issues with that type of thing, such as myself, you know, PTSD, uh, something that may bother you constantly, you just definitely want to avoid that type of uh, atmosphere. Uh, found out that, you know, over here uh, is definitely different than Mexico. Uh, even though people might say, well, you'd be fit well, you know, they speak Spanish over there and uh, they similar to, you know, 
the Latin, the Latin style weight. No, it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, nothing similar to Mexico to me. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, after living in Mexico for 20 plus years and then coming over to the Dominican Republic for over about, about a month, altogether over a month time period, it's nothing like Mexico. Um, they do a lot of things a lot different here. Um, traffic wise, uh, customer service wise, uh, just the people in general. It's totally different. It's totally different. Um, don't believe the hype. They say that everything is cheap. Uh, everything is not cheap. It all depends on what you get. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to get into detail on that. But just be, let it be known that the pros outweigh the cons. You're going to have cons, pros and cons wherever you go in this world. And you just have to, you know, deal with it. You don't have to deal with it, you know. And, uh, I just wanted to take this time to reflect and just say, you know, I appreciate all the people that inspired me um, to be able to, you know, wipe out, you know, the negative mind frame about traveling and going to different places. Um, I appreciate that inspiration from those. And it's actually been helping me not only mentally, but physically. Um, there was a few days, like I talked to my, my my therapist today about, you know, being out, being mobile. They asked me, have I been exercising, you know, and I tell them, yeah, you know, because they really encourage you. They want you to get and improve your health. Um, they know, you know, my disability, some of my, uh, my physical conditions hinder me from going too much. But uh, thank God, you know, I got my wife with me and she's able to help, you know, assist me in some of the areas that I may not be strong in. And, you know, we out counting our steps every day, using, utilizing our, our, our health chart on our phone and our watches and uh, kind of monitoring, you know, what we eat, uh, eating a lot of organic stuff, uh, eating a lot more green veggies, uh, fruits. And, you know, we've never been a big fan of a lot of fried food, first of all. So that wasn't hard to stare away from. Uh, but uh, I can honestly say uh, it dumped me some justice being over here, and uh, I'm looking forward to spending more days, more time in the Dominican Republic. I'm not saying that I plan on staying here, but I look, at, I look forward to spending more days and more time in the Dominican Republic. Um, I know some people gonna say, "Why? Well, how you know you lost weight? How you know it been healthy for you?" Uh, my heart rate has changed as well for the best. Uh, I never had any heart issue or pulse issue, but it's got better. I uh, never had high blood pressure, cholesterol, none of that stuff in my life, thank God. But I, I, I could tell by I had to make two more holes adjustments on my belt. I had to make two holes adjustment on my belt. Pelt, pelt. My pants will fall down if I don't. If uh, if I try to go back to my normal hole on my belt loop, uh, so that also helped me. I haven't been wearing myself, which I don't need to. Uh, I'm gonna wait till I get back stateside to see all that, to see how my journey uh, have helped me out. But I can definitely see, uh, you know, from my belt loops that I had to make two adjustments in my belt loop. Uh, so that should let, let me know that at least my waist size is changing. <laughs> if nothing else, you know, um, I think over here also helps the skin up quite a bit hydrates the skin quite a bit. My wife can see the difference actually with her hair too. Um, she's been using a lot of herbal, organic shampoo, uh, thickening the course of her hair. Um, it's, it's just so many other great things that it has helped by being over here in the Dominican Republic. Um, I really don't have any, I want to say, cons to talk about at this time. Like I say, uh, I can't really get into that, but I'm just saying, speaking from a personal point of view, the things that I, I've i seen and I really enjoyed. So uh, I'm gonna bring you guys more video in our, tra in our travel journey and uh, keep you guys up to date. You know, as you can see, I'm sitting out on the patio now. You hear a little motorcycle, you may hear traffic a little bit, but um, that's normal. And uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. But um, like I said, uh, I'm going to bring you guys more videos, um, try to bring you, may even start doing a few lives and um, talk to you guys more about 
what's been helping me mentally and physically uh, upon my travel. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Until the next one, bye now. Peace. One love.